What's up guys? My name is Luke. I am the Offensive Yak, and thank you for joining me today for episode number 23 of our Surviving Mars series where I find myself in a predicament. Uh, I ran out of oxygen over in this colony. I got plenty of oxygen over here, but I did just think of something. So we tried to bring trains down the uh, ramps and it didn't work, but we haven't tried pipes. So I'm gonna try, and I don't know that this is gonna work, but this is the only chance that these people have um, of surviving this is if I can get these pipes to go down the ramps and back up the other side, then maybe, maybe we'll survive. But before we get to that, let's roll the intro. All right, guys, I'm back out of here. It says that I'm too far from the drone commander. I'm really hoping that that's not an issue. If it is, I mean, I can bring my commander, but that's going to slow things down a lot. I'm really hoping that, because I do have free and instant uh, pipe stuff due to a, whatchamacallit, breakthrough that we have. So, yeah, I'm hoping that these are still building even without being close to a drone commander. If they are, we may just get lucky here, guys. <laughs> I think we may have lucked out. We lost 51 colonists, which isn't great, but I mean, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Now let's see where we're at. Okay, it says we have 47 day or 47 souls of oxygen remaining and 12 souls of water remaining uh awesome okay uh does that mean i could turn these guys back on i think i can uh we'll go ahead and make them um, medium priority i think i think medium priority is a good idea Okay, and now we're using a lot more oxygen, but we still have 13 souls worth. Awesome. Okay, uh, did not expect this to be a problem. Uh, yeah, drone heavy load, of course, uh, a couple of malfunctioning drones over here. We'll give you some prefabs because you're having problems. Uh, boatload of buildings aren't working. Moisture vaporators, solar panels, moxies, shuttle hubs. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that is one of the things. Shuttles cannot fly during dust storms. Uh, so something to keep note of. <laughs> All right. I think... I think we narrowly avoided disaster there, guys. Woo-wee. Yeah, that was, that was mighty close. Uh, mightily, mightily close. Uh, looks like a couple of moisture vaporators. Some other stuff. No fuel for the shuttles. You've definitely got fuel. I'm looking at thousands of fuel right here, guys. Uh, okay. Now, 
I don't remember what else we were going to do. Oh, yeah, we were going to start doing some more planetary stuff. In fact, I think it might be time for us to nuke the poles again if I can. It doesn't look like... Oh, yes, I can. I can melt the upper poles. Now, I won't get as much. It's only 10% water. Uh, but, uh, yeah. We're going to do it. The rocket will be lost. It's not a big deal. We'll just go ahead and build up another rock, another few rockets, actually, because we're going to do some more of these missions. I still can't use that uh, landing pad there, and I have no idea why. Okay. So, vegetation-wise, we could, I believe, start doing some vegetation. If I go over here to terraforming, we've got the forestation plant, which consumes seeds to plant wild vegetation, increasing local soil quality. Um, plants will wither or grow on soil quality and global temperature and water. Um, improves global vegetation if it's less than 40% vegetation, which it is. Uh, doesn't work during dust storms or toxic rains. Okay. There's also the open farm. Consume seeds to plant crops, which can be harvested for food by drones. Crops will wither or grow according, according to local soil quality and global temperatures. So what we're going to want, we're going to want at least one open farm. Um, because the open farm, which, hmm, I didn't know I could fit one right here. Uh, the open farm just does a really good job of making seeds and we're gonna need a lot of seeds now we got some really good soil quality over here okay uh yeah i can't fit it in here yet though but what i could totally do <laughs> uh you i have no idea how this is possible because it makes no sense but i can flat pack this lake because that makes sense. <laughs> and put the open farm right here. Yeah, all I gotta do is move a moisture vaporator and one more lake. So we'll flat pack that lake. We're gonna salvage up these pipes here and this moisture vaporator. Ah, I could... Nah, I think I already hit it. Yeah, we'll just salvage the moisture evaporator. That's fine. And we're going to put an open farm here. Uneven terrain, my... Never mind. All right. Well, in that case, we'll flatten it first. Try that. Let's flatten it first. Oh, look. It's 97% flat. <laughs> and it's flat. Okay. Now let's try to put the open farm. Yes, okay. I just want to spin it around so that it's easy to connect. Perfect. And then we're also going to throw a forestation plant over here. I think could be a good spot for it. It'll forest up a lot of this area and then we'll go ahead and stick one down here no I want it here and we're gonna stick one over here too and I might as well stick one here and here and here all right, so for the farm, we're definitely going to want... Uh, good question. So we could do herbs, gets us... A little bit... 
a little bit more. We're gonna want to increase soil quality first. No, let's see. Our average soil quality is 91%, okay. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do potatoes and then cover crops. Yeah, now I need to hook it up to some water. So let's hook up pipes. And I need to hook it up to power. Now I thought we could, and then I want this guy to store seeds and 30 of them. Okay. I thought we could use these to actually get seeds. Uh, Oh no, it looks like it will produce some seeds. Okay. So which one gives us the most seed harvest is what I wanna know. And it actually doesn't say, uh, cover crops. Okay, cover crops gives us the most seed harvest. I don't need the food. I want the seed harvest here. So if I do potatoes, yeah, we don't get any seeds out of it. Okay, I just want cover crops then. Absolutely. So it looks like it needs some seeds, which really should be coming over here. Unless, ahaha, yes, okay. We never set up a storage for seeds. So it'll go right here because we're actually producing our seeds up here. So that should be in range. Hmm. What resources is this bringing in? Oh, it's got a whole bunch of stuff, including a bunch of seeds. Okay, there we go. So we should be getting some seeds over here anytime. Yes, seeds, perfect. Okay, and then these guys will need seeds and power, okay. Well, I can make power happen. We'll just go straight over to there. Uh, where else did I put them? Here's one. We'll run power with our water pipes. I mean, sort of with our water pipes. I'm not being very good about it, but uh, that's okay. Okay, put one over there. Pretty sure I've got one here too. Yep, it's already got power. This one here has power and there has power. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. So this forestation plant doesn't have power. Where right. is it because these aren't connected up here? Why, yes, it is because of that. But it looks like I can not quite connect them there. Come on, is there anywhere around here I can connect them? I mean, these things are free. Okay, looks like I will have to run it a different way. We'll run it with the pipes here. There we go. That should get you power. And the other one also needs power. Where did I not? Ah, I didn't hook it up here. For some reason, 
Uh, uneven terrain. Of course, but the pipes can go through. That's not a problem. But cabling. Cabling's not bendy at all. Okay. Am I able to... No. I can't. Uh, is there room to run it here? No. Okay. You'll just get packed back up then. I don't have room <laughs> to run any cables over there. Okay. This thing's already producing. Awesome. Okay. So this is going to be our seed producer. These are all of our seed makers. We do have some new projects. One of the things I really, really love about uh, this game too is it knows how much we're terraforming it and it's starting to transform. So you're seeing these patches of green that were not previously here. Uh, you're seeing this what I assume to be either the polar cap or maybe a large ocean. Uh, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking it's water because this is where we nuked the polar caps before. So we're getting some really cool stuff here. Uh, but in the meantime, let's take a look and let's see. So we can, we can send 100 seeds to get 5%. That's actually not bad. And it looks like we can do it a couple of times. Cool. Uh, looks like I've got a couple things ready. We'll send... I've got 400 seeds. I can send two loads out. Uh, the rockets won't even be lost, it doesn't look like. My guess is they're just dropping seeds. Okay. So I think it's time we take a look here at our goals. The only one left is to have three biorobotics workshops. Okay. Well, like I said before, if we move this guy, I think, I think I can put a megadome here. Not quite. Okay, we're gonna have to move this. We'll just build it one over here on the other side and bring him 30 of everything. Okay, now can I build a mega dome? Please let me build a mega dome. Okay, yeah, it just needs a little bit of flattening. That's not a problem. I can flatten like a champ. All right. So we're gonna start up here. There we go. We'll just flatten the whole area. All right. I do want to take a look. Do we have any new? We do. Factory automation lowers the amount of workers needed in factories. Okay. Sure, we'll get that. Less workers in factories means I could do more factories. Although workforce is not our issue here at this point, considering we've got 800 people out of work still. And it looks like they are done flattening this, which I think means we can do a Megadome. Megadome of the Doug Megadomes. For whoever gets that reference, you had an awesome childhood like me. <laughs> now, I think one thing I'm gonna wanna do, I'm actually gonna wanna get rid of this cable here. The nice thing is this should still be connected due to the passageway. And we're going to go ahead and put in a passageway ramp so that they can go over it. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit of stuttering. 
but we're still seeing about 200 or so FPS. Not bad. Okay, so now we just need to connect this guy up with some life support. You can connect up over here. And then we're going to connect in a passageway from here. And we're going to bring it out to here and then over. And I want it to go right to there. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and put a passageway ramp just because I can. Must be built on a complete passage. I'm pretty sure there's a passage that's going to go in there, guys. Maybe you want to let me build it? Come on, let me pre-plan stuff. Eventually, the passageway will be built. It's going up. There it goes. All right, cool. So this dome is online. So some of the stuff we're going to do with this dome... Um, let's see, I had plans for it. Now I don't remember entirely what they were. <laughs> uh, let's look at our spires to start with. What spire do we want to put in here? What spires do we not have? We don't have a hanging gardens. We don't have an arcology. The arcology isn't all that important for us though. The, the hanging gardens would be nice. Let's do a hanging gardens. Yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and build up. I think it was biorobotics workshops they wanted us to have. So we're just gonna build three of them. And while we're at it, we're gonna do VR workshop. Three of those and art workshop. Oh, built that one in the wrong spot. There we go. Because I know that one of the things we need to do is get a certain number of our population into workshops in order to unlock one of our sub goals, we'll call it. And I'll show you where it is here in a second. I definitely want more there. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, we're going to have to see what that does to... Ooh, we can melt the polar ice caps again. All right. And a breakthrough. Ancient terraforming device. Instantly gain 20% in all terraforming parameters. Uh, yes, please. Uh, looks like I'm already outsourcing. Okay. Sure. Why not? Okay. So let's go ahead and look. Uh, not there. It's going to be here. Here we go. Our milestones. So one of the milestones is to have 40% workers in workshops. Now, with my population, that means I need like 400 people in workshops. That's a tall order. And I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that done. But we might try. We may just try. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna see what we can do here. No guarantees. All right, now, what other workshops are there? Oh, I feel like there was one that was in a different category. I may be crazy. In fact, I probably am. It's entirely possible. I don't see one in here. Uh, doesn't look like we got one here. One thing I might do is start allowing tourists. I could build up a hotel. Yeah, I might just build up a hotel in here. 
So, I'm... Um, oh. Seed vegetation. Three, two, one. A collective gasp and then cheers. The project was successful. A rocket filled with billions of seeds emptied its storage units in a well-orchestrated chain of steps, spreading the seeds over a vast range of land. Most of these seeds will take root and result in swaths of green land. We'll begin pumping out oxygen into the fledgling Martian atmosphere. So we did that actually twice. So, all right. Really, not enough power. How is that possible? Are we, we are making more power than, or we're not making enough power, okay. Well, in that case, it's time for another artificial sun. Right here. In fact, just cause I can, two of them. Why not? Uh, but in the meantime, I will go ahead and be making a... Oh, oh, the experiment. A scientist barges into your office and says they have an important climate experiment to make. Quick to assume, or to assure you that the experiment is perfectly safe. Oh yeah, sure sounds like it. Kirk Redwood reluctantly asks for permission to test within the vicinity of a dome in case they need to get to shelter really fast. I thought it was perfectly safe. Why would you need to get to shelter? Innovation is always welcome. Go ahead, test near a dome, get research, something might happen. Sounds intriguing, but I'd rather play it safe. Test it somewhere far away, get research, something might happen. Or enough crazy for today. Please leave my office. You know what? Let's just let him do it. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, yeah, I'm sure this isn't going to be bad in any way. And then, because I don't want to wait for those things, we're just gonna put some fusion reactors here. Three of them sounds pretty good. Now, what I should do, if I was smart, and that's debatable, okay, uh, I should, Hook, now that I've hooked up all of these things with hooked both my colonies up with piping, I might be able to get some cables. Yes, no, maybe so. It doesn't look like I can get the cables to go down. Maybe over here, here, here. No, okay. No cables. I won't be uh, able to hook those up. All right, not a problem. All right, we'll go ahead and once the save is done. All right. Hit the auto regulation and everything. That should give us plenty of power. Yep, we're already producing enough. Good. All right. Okay. One fusion reactor. Okay, cool. Looks like everything is back up and running. Now, I thought I told you. Yeah, you're not exporting them to Earth, are you? No. We are just consuming. Holy crap! We are actually consuming more rare metals than we are producing now. Okay. Uh, in that case. I think it's time for another mohole mine, and I think we're gonna put it right here. Yeah. And I do remember I said I wasn't gonna do another one, because technically in the vanilla game you can't do 
more than one. Okay, I'm using a mod that allows me to build more than one, but I didn't build a second one until I had fully upgraded the first. Planet Habitable. Since the Founders set foot on Mars, we have dreamt of a day we could tread freely upon the red sand. Today, this dream has finally manifested onto reality. Go out, fellow Martians, breathe in the Martian air, and be proud. We are now able to open our domes and rely on the Martian atmosphere alone to provide the oxygen and warmth we need to survive. If opened, domes will no longer require an oxygen supply and will become cheaper to build. However, if conditions worsen, we stand ready to seal them up again. Well, heck yes, we're going to open up the domes. Look at that. No more domes. That's awesome. Now, I do believe that at some point, we should be getting another... Yeah, there it is. Capital City. So, because the thing is now habitable, we can build our capital city. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking we're going to build the capital city right here in the middle of the map. It's going to need a little bit of landscaping <laughs> first, uh, but we're going to get it done. Okay. And it looks like our Mohole Mine is being built. Good. And we're built. I just need to get it some power. Not a problem. We'll just connect you to here. I think it's close enough to connect them both. Yes, it is. Okay, good. And you know what we're going to do? Because we've got enough. We're just going to instantly upgrade it all the way. <laughs> all the way. All the upgrades. This guy's gonna probably need some more drones. Yeah. All right, so if we've got two of them doing 32-ish a soul, that would be 34. That should be enough rare metals production just from our mohole mines. Okay. Well, guys, with that, I'm going to leave that at the... Yeah, yeah, let's try that again. I'm going to leave the episode there. Uh, call that a day. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. My name is Luke. I am the Offensive Yak. If you're enjoying this kind of content, make sure to go hit that like and subscribe button for more of it. Uh, because, hey, we just opened the domes. Of course, that is the biggest milestone there is here on Mars, is opening the domes. That means the planet is now habitable. We did that. Uh, now, of course, we're going to continue going here a little bit longer. That is not uh, the end of the series, but uh, we are definitely getting a bit close. But uh, I'll have another episode out for you guys tomorrow. All right. Offensive Yak out.